what he's been sent out there for. Down the track, over the offside, the first boundary for Afridi. This time he's found again. That will be four runs for the taking. Good cricketing shot from Afridi. Just stood up tall and punched it to the offside. Oh, that was smashed back for Hasabola. Luckily for the bowler, the ball hit the stumps. That was another boundary, certainly. He's really launched himself into this one here, Afridi. And the power with which uh, it was hit. The stump rattling out of the ground. And this time, he's found the gap. Again hit with tremendous power. really is having a tough time there and the message is loud and clear now to the bowler that he has to alter his length he has to drop it a little shorter he's got cover now he's got a man at uh, fine leg on the fence a man at square leg he's got the ball into the rib cage of Afridi otherwise he's going to continue being treated the way he is four more he's given in the room and Afridi has hammered it to the third boundary of the over here has taken off to Pakistan. Still a great run rate. And it's just got better. Bang straight back over the bowler's head. This will take him to 50. Another terrific knock by Shahid Afridi. And he's given the Pakistanis a rousing start. And what a tremendous way to get to your half century. Treating a quick bowler like a spinner. Abhi Kuru may not be as quick as he was uh, two or three years back. But he still is a very crafty bowler. Very good with the new ball. But after he's gone down the pitch as if he was a spinner and lofted him straight over the bowler's head. Very impressive figures. 44 balls to get to that 50. And this is an even bigger hit. Lee has really middled that one. And it's cleared the mid-wicket fence quite comfortably. So this man is on a roll. 10 runs of the last two deliveries. And Pakistan really motoring along at this stage. Well, you talk about temperament in cricket. This is what it is. Having given him the charge, it was fairly obvious that Kurola is going to pitch the next one short, anticipating that he would charge down the pitch once again. But Afridi staying put, and when that short ball came along, as predicted, he was right in. And Afridi uh, scoring runs at will. He's on the onside for another boundary. shot from Ijaz and this will beat Kunal Kamli. In fact it was Afridi. He gave himself room and hit it wide of mid off. So another boundary to end the over. It's 120 for one. This man's going to do a lot of smiling that he's hit some sensational shots today. Shy of Afridi. It's a big one. It's got more height than distance and it's taken. Abhi Kurovila, the catcher. There's uh, so much power behind that shot from Afridi that if he did it flatter, he might even have hit it out of the ground. As it happened, he suddenly gets his wicket after all. There we go. Uh, if you notice Afridi's bottom hand and his back foot, he's leaning onto his back foot using his bottom hand. That's why the ball went higher up in the air rather than uh, finding the distance it found the height. So Afridi has gone for 72 from just 56 balls, it's 126 for 2. 